pretty basic. All right, pretty straightforward. We got 29 points. There's going to be three algebra questions to start you off. And then there's going to be four proofs to finish you off. Those proofs are not any different than what we've been doing. It's not like I searched and searched for the hardest four proofs I could find. It's nothing different than what you did all yesterday and have been doing all unit. Uh, I just wanted to give you a heads up on what I mean by algebra questions, and you might have to uh, justify your work. I put up a very, very easy problem right up here. Not that easy on Thursday, though. So I have two angles, 3x plus 1, and the other is 2x minus 6, and I, I'm just going to say solve for x. What would we do? Are they equal? No. Uh, no, not necessarily, but they do what? Okay, so here's what I would expect for this problem. 3x plus 1 plus 2x minus 6 equals 180. Go ahead, work your algebra magic, solve for x. Bring over the 5. Divide by 5. X equals 37. You may have to find X. Some of you guys, I remember, got burnt on the, uh, what was it, that multiple choice question on the test where it was you had to plug in X, which was 2, and find the actual length of the line segment. Don't get burnt again. Just because you have X doesn't make you a winner. I may ask for one or both angles. Now, on top of this, that's probably, you know, two out of three points. The other three points, or the other point may come from why? Why? Did you set this equation up? There's a lot of things you could have set it equal to, but you chose 180. Why? Linear pairs are supplementary. So I will be asking for a justification. All right. On all three algebra problems, I probably will ask for justification. So just a heads up. want you to know exactly what my expectations are for those algebra questions. Anything. And hey, this is this is it right here. Do we know the basics or not? These are not going anywhere. This is not the only unit where you're going to do substitution or subtraction or addition. It's hanging around all year long. All right. A couple tips for you. Just a reminder when you're doing the proofs, let's say you've identified that in the proof you have to do supplements of something you see the word supplementary. What do you need before you write down either one in your reasons? What needs to be above it? A lot of you got forgot them yesterday on your proof. What needs to go above in your proof before you write down one of these reasons? No? Tell your the lines that are supplementary or the angles that are you gotta tell me what angles are supplementary. Okay, so if you find yourself writing down one of these reasons here, look up in your proof, have I told whoever that I have supplementary angles and what are they? Before you use that, what do you need to tell me? You just automatically can't go step two, right angles are congruent. What's got to be above in your proof before you tell me right angles are congruent? That the angles are right angles. You need to tell me what angles are right angles before you can say all right angles are congruent. These will be all on a sheet of paper attached to the last page of your quiz. I'm just giving you a heads up. When we start unit three on Friday, they're gone. You don't get help anymore. This is it. You don't get a sheet anymore. These are gone. I put them away till next school year. All right, so we're going to keep using these, but I'm not going to give them to you anymore when we start unit three. You've got to know both subtraction. Okay, supplements of the same angle are congruent. All good. I just want to give you a fair warning well in advance that these are taken down and you don't get these anymore. There's no more cheat sheets other than uh, Thursday's test. Anything I can answer? Okay, review. Go to the review. Starts on page 34 in your packet. I've given you proofs, and then I've given you some algebra problems at the end. Before you get started, this is all I have to give you. I don't have extra problems or proofs. This is it. Actually, strike that. I have four extra proofs. I have, but you know what? They're on. They're on Thursday's test, so obviously I'm not giving them to you. Okay, but this is it. I've given you every single basic proof that I could find. Nothing's going to be different than what you're doing in the review and what we did yesterday. 
Those four proofs on the test are not any different. All right, not so please. What am I saying? What am I trying to tell you before you start going on your own? Don't put things in the reasons column we have never, ever put there before. Okay? You find your, like, I had somebody earlier today in one of my classes just write congruent in the reasons. Have we? I've never, we've never put that. So you automatically know it's incorrect. All right? Use the stuff we've been putting in there. All right? Last thing. Whoa, whoa, guys, give me a chance here. Last thing. Are these the only things you're allowed to write your givens? No. Definition of midpoint. Definition of bisects. Perpendicular lines form right angles. Don't get in this mindset that these are the only things that you're allowed to write in your reasons, because that's garbage, and you know that. We've written a lot more than what's up here. All right? So get going. All the answers are in the back of the packet. You don't have to go on classroom. All the answers are in the back of the packet. You work by yourself or you work with people in your group, but we're not mixing groups here, obviously. All right, so you got whole class here to ask me questions. All the answers are in the back of your packet, including the proofs. There's answers to the proofs in the back of your packet. Call me over if you get stuck. Work however you'd like to work, together or separate.